Guys, I'm really sorry. I jumped the gun and I jumped into an op shop to start the day and I've come away with an absolute cracker first up. I've got a $6 David Smith button-up shirt here. There it is there, six bucks. It's brand new with tags, guys. $129.95 and that is how we are starting the day. 9 a.m. Thursday morning. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing really well, guys. Thank you very much for being here and clicking on this video. We're going to do a whole lot more of that in this video today. I'm going to go around to all these different Gold Coast op shops, show you what I buy to help my eBay business grow. And um, hopefully, that makes for a pretty entertaining video. We're only 360 subscribers away from 5,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. Uh, it's been an awesome little journey that we're on, but I need your help. If you're yet to subscribe, and I know that 40% of you out there are not subscribed and watching these videos, so go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. Let's get into it, guys. First op shop. First, well, second op shop coming up. I also forgot to mention as well, we're gonna be doing the cop or drop segment as well. So I'm putting it out to you guys today on my Instagram as to whether or not I should go ahead and purchase an item that I'm a little bit on the fence about. So it's gonna be another part of the video. Hopefully you enjoy that as well. Let's go. Well, you can't get a better start than half price day in your local op shop. And that's exactly what we've got here, guys. The OnCloud running shoes. Now I've only found these twice in over a year of thrifting. So today is a good day. I'm gonna go ahead and pick these ones up for just the $4. What an absolute steal of a price that is. If you can find those shoes, guys, they definitely go on to sell. I will say there was a slight mark that you'll see right there at the top left, but I don't think that's gonna impede the resale value of the shoe considering I'm buying it for such a cheap price. We've got these Nikes as well. They do look pretty good, but I always do the sole test, guys, and when you pull them around, yeah, I don't think I'll be going ahead with those, even at the $8 purchase price being quite low. There's just too much wear there, and that, my friends, is where the resale value lies in the shoes that you are reselling. These ones as well, these Adidas shoes, just a very plain, casual pair of shoes, maybe a good school shoe, something like that. Um, look, there was a $4 price tag on it. I ended up going ahead and purchasing it, but I made the rookie mistake of not checking the soles, which did have a split in it. Um, this was an Instagram viewer poll question. This was a Marvel uh, extra small uh, sweater. Now, I, look, I don't normally buy these sort of items. It's a bit of a novelty sweater. I'm putting it up to you guys to get your thoughts on it. Uh, let me know what you guys would do if you're in the thrift for 10 bucks yourself. Um, saw some DVDs as well. Love this TV show growing up as a kid. Third Rock from the Sun. Did you guys watch it? Well, this one's only two bucks and it goes on to sell for about 25. So pretty happy to find that one in the DVD section. And then we had a couple of really cool tops in the clothing section as well. $3 on these. We've got a Tommy Bahama. I'm always picking up Tommy Bahama. Love the brand. This one's got a really nice print on it as well. Just a, uh, a floral look, I should say. Um, so that was a really nice one. And there was a second one as well. Now the brand I've never really heard of, it's Marks and Spencer. Uh, let me know if you've sold this brand before in the past. There it is there. It was just a $3 purse. Uh, it's a linen shirt as well. So that's why I went ahead and made the purchase there. So all in all, guys, all of these items that you've seen have ended up totaling just $11. An absolute steal for Op Shop Run it's number one. It is hot, man. It is so damn hot in this thing. Um, Instagram viewer poll question for Op Shop Run. Number one, we had the Marvel sweater. It was an extra small. That was my contention. I love the Marvel brand. I know that it does sell pretty well. There's a lot of fans out there for that Captain America sort of stuff. Um, the sweater was in light new condition. It was 10 bucks, not too bad. You guys have said to cop it, and rightly so, for all those reasons. But in the end, I actually left it on the counter. I didn't go ahead and buy it. And I didn't buy it because I just don't like to buy those small sizes. They typically, for myself, don't really go on to sell too well for me. So rather than sink 10 bucks into a single item of clothing, I've left on the counter, we're moving on. So, op shot run number two is coming up. I'm really happy with the way we've started the day. Hopefully you're enjoying the video. We've got three more rounds to go. Let's get back into it. just the one item out of this op shop, this Holden Racing Jumper. I really like the look of this and I'm buying my racing gear whenever I'm seeing it. So for $5, I should be able to turn that into about $35 pretty quickly, I would say. This was an awesome store. First time I've ever been into it. It was an absolute ripper. I spent about 45 minutes in here just having a really good dig through everything. And the first section was the shoes. I had a good look through every single pair of shoes and I've come away with these Pumas, the Manitas. They, they cost me 10 bucks, but comps on eBay. I reckon I'll be able to get myself about 50. Pretty standard for my footy boots. The Hokers. I've only found probably about five or six of these over the course of the last year. So whenever I'm seeing the Hokers, I'm always getting pretty excited. These were a really good grab. I paid the $10 for these. 
Um, just a ripping pair of shoes, guys, and I'm going to be pushing about $70, given the condition, on eBay. Also found these as well. These are the uh, Asics Club Lethal Sixes. Uh, really good pair of footy shoes. If you do find these, always pick them up. A $10 purchase price. Again, another $50 sale price. This one really stumped me. They're a really nice pair of Puma shoes. A $20 price tag, but pretty much the exact same shoe was sitting right next to it. Another pair of men's shoes. This is just a maroon colorway of pretty much the exact same thing. You had a $10 price tag. So I've gone ahead and I've bought the one for $10 and I've left the one for $20. Really don't know what these guys were doing there with that. But uh, in, in the end, I've ended up buying four pairs of shoes there and they were pretty much all working out to be about $10 each. So awesome stuff there. Here's an Instagram viewer poll question. $24 for the Horrible History's blood-curdling box of books. Now there's 24 books, a dollar each. Would you go ahead and purchase this for the purpose of reselling it on eBay? I, I'm not too sure. I'm going to have a bit of a think about it. Let me know in the comments below what you would have done with that one. The clothing section, absolutely smacked in this store. I scanned every single clothing item I could find and I've come away with these absolute beauties. The first one is a Super Mario brand new with tags. Look, it's only a $25 price tag. It is an extra small, which I'm not stoked about, but it's only a $5 purchase. And I think the Donkey Kong brand or, or Super Mario should go on to sell. So not a bad t-shirt considering it was brand new with tags. Had to say yes. Found this Rick and Morty t-shirt, get swifty. Really like the look of this one. Hey, take your pants off. Somebody, surely watching this out there, $8 purchase price, would want to get their hands on this. Let me know on Instagram if you want it. Shoot me a DM. I'll give it to you for a very, very cheap price. I really like the acid wash colorway as well. Just a very sweet t-shirt, that one. Rents due, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. This is a really sweet Under Armour t-shirt. I didn't end up buying this one in the end. It was a size large, a pretty plain t-shirt. You're only going to turn that into about $20 to $25, so not a, pro not a lot of profit to be made. This one I did grab though, Sonic the Hedgehog. Don't see a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog in clothing, but uh, a really nice embroidered patch of Sonic himself right there on the front. A $6 price tag and a size medium as well. So a very genuine t-shirt, genuine item this one. Nothing fake about it. Very much looking forward to selling that one. I'm probably only going to go for about 25 bucks. But what a store. A stack of great items out of that one. Not bad, hey? Op shot run number two. That was a lot of fun in there. Spent a fair amount of time, to be honest, but uh, definitely worthwhile. Um, we had an Instagram viewer poll question. The Horrible Histories books. $24 for 24 books, an entire set. Now, I'll put it up on my Instagram. Actually, a very interesting result here. 50-50 was pretty much the outcome. For me, it would be a heavy drop item. And I say that because the resale value on eBay is only about $60. You've got to remember with the books that they are quite an expensive item to ship off. So you're going to be looking at about $15 worth of postage and um, takeout fees as well. You're going to be left with, at best, a $35 sale price and you're buying those books for $24. So you're talking a $24 investment to only make $11. I don't know. I just don't think that's really worth it. So it was always going to be a drop for me, but very, very interesting to see that it's a 50-50 call for you guys out there. Um, let's keep punching, guys. I'll Shot run number three is coming up. viewer poll question guys i've got the diesel jeans here these are the larkies now i really love finding the diesel brand we've got a 34 waist to 34 length but the price tag is the contentious decision here guys 25 dollars. would you spend that much money for a single pair of jeans that is my deliberation as we speak let me know in the comments if you would have bought those yourself have a look at these a pair of nike internationalists $12 price tag, they should go for upwards of $60 to $70. A fantastic pair of shoes, that retro look, very, very popular. And I'm very happy to find those. So they should go on to sell in a pretty quick space of time, I would imagine. Speaking of retro, have a look at this thing. I've spent the $9 for it. It's got the Freedom tag. It's a size medium. This is just a very sick shirt. Somebody out there is going to absolutely love this. Look, I don't know the brand uh, Freedom by any means. I just like the look of it. And sometimes you just have to go by what you like the look of in the thrift. And that was certainly the case with that one there. Found some really good pairs of shoes, guys. Have a look at these. These Nike Lunar Glides, they're only $15, but I swear they have never been worn. They are brand new Nike shoes. I absolutely love selling my shoes. You guys know that, and these ones are an absolute Jats cracker. I've also found these as well. Now, the brand is really popular over in the States, so these may sell internationally. It's a $25 purchase price. The brand is Vionic. So if you find that uh, brand Vionic, definitely go ahead and pick it up, especially if it's in the condition like these are. A $12 purchase price, no-brainer for me. They should go on to sell for about $50. 
Now I did have a bit of a scan through the clothing section in this op shop and we have come away with some absolute bangers. If I start off here with a brand that you all know that I absolutely love, Tommy Bahama, I found two size medium polo shirts, the blue and the maroon. So very, very excited to sell these as a bulk deal on Marketplace. I'll do the two for 50. That's what I'm thinking. Two for 50 free postage. Um, I'm paying five bucks a piece. So $10 in, I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, also found this as well. This was just a $6 price tag. Just an Adidas Originals women's uh, pair of tracksuit pants. So I'm thinking maybe 25 bucks, something fairly cheap on those, but a very cool pair of uh, trackies nonetheless. Also a Ralph Lauren pair as well. These were a size small. Um, they should go on for about $25 as well. I'm really just buying the brand here, guys, both Adidas and, uh, oh, there's another actual, there's another pair of Adidas shorts. I've gone ahead and picked these ones up as well. Um, the real cotton material there, just a $5 price tag, a very, very cheap purchase price. No size on these shorts, so I've just had to go at a bit of a stab in the dark. I think they're more an extra large. These as well, these are a pair of, um, I don't think they're genuine by any means based on that tag there, but a $7 purchase price for some Chicago Bulls shorts. I've had to go ahead and buy those. Love buying my sporting merchandise, and to be honest, this is one of the first few uh, sporting merchandises I've seen uh, on this trip. Um, I've got this as well. This is the uh, the Ralph Lauren beige casual shorts. It was a 34 waist. They go for about 25 to 30 pretty comfortably. And then let me know in the comments below if this is genuine or fake based on your anticipation. $12 is the purchase price. Um, a really nice pair of True Religion jeans. And if you can find these that are genuine, they sell really, really well. The other one as well, $6 purchase price is a pair of Banana Republic straight leg, 34 waist, 34 length pair of pants. So again, another $30 there. A ton of clothing in that one. Man, super interesting numbers there with that one. 19% of you are saying to cop the Larky jeans, 81% saying to drop. I, I went with the majority, I have dropped them. It's $25, it's a lot of money to be putting into one single item of clothing. They do go on to sell for 70 bucks on eBay, so your profit is definitely there in the item, but you do need to weight it out with that $25 sit, which I guess is, is quite a bit of money. So um, hopefully you're enjoying the video, guys. We've got one more round to go. So far, so many great items secured, and uh, I do want to end the day on a high. So remember to smash the like button and hit the subscribe, man. Let's get to 5,000 and subs. Uh, we'll see what we can do to finish it off. Alright guys, let's make a good day great. And we've got an Instagram viewer poll question here. These are a pair of pretty much brand new Merrill hiking shoes. It is one of my favorite brands to find in the shoe category. Always a quick seller for me on eBay. Now there's a price tag here though for deliberation at $35. Let me know in the comments below if you would have bought those for 35 bucks. Now the sportswear section, one of my favorite areas of the thrift store. And have a look, it is completely stacked with a bunch of different goodies to have a bit of a pick through here. The first thing that I've found is something that I'll always look for, the 2018 Commonwealth Games uh, exercise shorts here. Now, this is a women's size 12. I'm pretty lucky here on the Gold Coast. I do find quite a bit of Commonwealth Games merchandise. A $6 purchase price, it generally goes on to sell for me. Also found this Cricket Australia just before the cricket season gets underway. This is a timely find, just a $6 purchase. And I reckon there's a bit of money in this one. We've got a halftime Auskick jersey in the AFL. A very, very cool jumper that should sell for some pretty damn good money. Oh, the Merrill shoes, hey. Uh, I'll tell you what, guys, $35. The amount of times I'll find a pair of shoes like Merrill's for about $5 or $6 is, is pretty common. So to see these as good as they were for 35 bucks, I did have to say no. But the majority of you did say to go ahead and grab them for 35 bucks. Every single poll in this video today has genuinely surprised me. Uh, I, this is why I love doing it, because you get the public opinion getting you guys involved in the videos. I know a lot of you guys are actually um, you know, trapped up in lockdown at the moment, certainly at least here in Australia. Um, hey, I do just want to quickly say as well, I had a really lovely comment from a lady by the name of Pia, um, only yesterday, and she was a first time commenter on the channel. If you have been watching for any length of time and you enjoy these videos and you had never left a comment to say hello, Go ahead and do that right now because I absolutely love getting that message from Pia and um, I'd love to get a few more from you guys out there that have been long time viewers of the channel but first time commenters. So go ahead and do that for me. That wraps it up guys. Appreciate you being here. I'll leave you with another trip to the thrift video right here to keep that ball rolling and keep you watching videos on this channel because I cannot thank you enough for doing so. Um, until next time guys, we'll see you soon. Appreciate you being here.